that uh, brave free to plays. Uh, the reason why this channel exists. If you pay to play, you can watch it for comedy. If you're free to play, you can watch it to find out how to have fun in a game where people are just spending thousands of dollars, sometimes in a month, um, and you're clearly being left uh, in your in their tracks. This is my baby. She's a nasty little baby. She's got 30 million kills. Reasonable gear. The only piece I'm going to regret is this one here, because I am going to want those black wing boots. But at the time, um, it was it was easy to forge and it was quite useful for what she was doing. When she was very small, she got a heck of a lot of kills. And she looks a lot like a trap. If you just glance at that uh, and you're looking at those 30 million kills, you're going, oh, no, that's probably a trap. But then you get into uh, this part here where you look at uh, her stats. And that has its own story to tell. Um, she has 1,290 victories. That's a lot of little castles and things attacked. Um... She's lost 1,062, so wow. Um, successful attacks, 1,193. Failed attacks, 630. So you're looking at something that's been hitting a lot of small castles, which is basically what she did and what she does. The final clincher over there is enemies destroyed might, only 316 million might. Immediately you can see she is a baby killer. Uh, and she's a baby. She's a baby to kill babies. So she killed... Uh, from the time she was a little brown castle, um, she was out there hunting and killing and destroying. And really, I actually prefer this way of playing um, for small castles because she's hit all these guys. Um, and I can tell you now that not one of them would be unable to repair all the damage in a week, which is a very different situation. If you're free to play with a, an account with what pay-to-play called uh, players would call a decent comp, which is to say you've got a lot of trips. They're going to take you um, a long time to replace that. On um, on one of my accounts, I'm definitely looking at probably like two years at least to replace uh, the trips that she lost. She had a very good comp. So yeah, that's kind of sad. And, and as soon as you're protecting that kind of territory... Uh, you're scared because you, you are free to play and you know how long it's going to take to replace that. People go, oh, you're a true bugger and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, fine. Um, we're not spenders. We're free to play and we just can't afford to lose too many trips. So that's not to say you can't fight. You can fight. But you need to pick your battles very, very wisely. You have to choose the situations in which you drop shield very wisely. Um, and that is one of the functions of this particular little account is that I, I take her into kingdoms to see what they like. Uh, first thing I go and look at is the Kingdom News. Are there multiple guilds rallying the same players? Uh, that's already telling me that's not a good place for a free-to-play guild. Uh, and then, of course, she drops shield. She's got anti. What I want to see is how long does it take for her to scout, get scouted? How many times does she scout get scouted? And how many people of those are actually willing to blind hit her? A smart guy will blind hit her. Because he can see, um, he can basically see your history from his stats. But uh, most guys will look and go, oh no, maybe not. Uh, and, and when you're in a kingdom where that is the case, there's a very good chance that everybody's going to have a good time. Um, as long as you've got anti up, nobody's going to uh, just pile in and start blind rallying you uh, or multi rallying you or whatever. So, a very good way to test new kingdoms. The last thing that this baby is good for uh, is that she's probably going to be a food farm one of these very fine days not yet i'm sort of between that and actually turning it into a genuine trap but i think we're probably going to go the food farm route her military research is out of this world she's um she's currently doing quick swaps because she's waiting for her she's waiting for her academy 25 and as you can see that military tree is just totally maxed she's been going for it um totally maxed that military tree She's got as far as she can with Monster Hunt. She's got as far as she can with Economy. So she's basically now just waiting uh, for Castle 25. Nice little account. Uh, the final thing I use it for is tile hitting. And I know you're going to go, oh my gosh, yes, tile hitting. Um, sometimes it happens that a really big guy moves in next to the hive. He starts attacking our tiles. He's uh, trying to teach us some kind of a lesson. And that's when this little baby goes and teaches his entire guild a lesson back. Um, and it's very easy for her. She is not taking any risks. She doesn't lose any troops. They attack her. They burn her. She sits there with a the fire coming out of her and laughs at them. 
because she's able to hide her troops if they do time her in or they're lucky to get her returning or whatever. She doesn't send her leader to Tilehead. And she she gets a bit of infirm. Oh, wow, I'm so not going to cry about that. Um, speed heal her, jump back in. I'm still in flames and I'm busy attacking their tiles and they get so frustrated that they could cry. I imagine you've got several little accounts like this doing that. At some point, that guild is going to go, why are you doing this? And you tell them, because you guys have been tile hitting us. And we're hitting tile for tile what uh, what you attacked. And initially, they're going to get angry and things are going to get hot. But at some point, they just reach a point of complete exhaustion because what can they do? They can't do anything about it. The best tile hitting accounts are all very, very small. I don't recommend it in the general way of things. It's very frustrating. It's very annoying. Uh, I don't like having tile hitters in my guild. But when people ask for it, they get it. And this is the perfect account for the job. Just a few more ways to have fun.